Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. You know, I just finished renting the Airbnb and I wasn't even done with the shower house, but this couple wanted to spend the, the weekend here. That was fine. But when they left, they told me that the toilet was backed up. They have a young child with them. Let's take a look at what I found in the toilet. How many times has this happened to you? You come down to the toilet and sure enough, Someone's left their waste in there. So you go ahead and flush it. You're not gonna reach in there, you're gonna flush it. And you can see that water rising up and up and up. Is it gonna overflow? More than likely. Looks like this one stopped just at the top. So what are you gonna do? I can assure you that if this plunger does not open this up, none of these products up here and none of these things that you're watching on YouTube will work. The plunger is their best option. If this doesn't work, then you need to try the toilet auger. And if that doesn't work, you're going to end up pulling that toilet. So with your plunger, get a little bit of water in that stem. You see how there's a stem on there? That's gonna create a really good seal around the toilet. Get some little bit of water in there, force it down into that hole, and plunge. Didn't go, did it? Let's try it again. Let it fill up with water and really push and pull. Nothing. So that plunger didn't work. The next thing we gotta try is a toilet auger. The toilet auger is a six foot cable some people call it a snake. We need to push this down into the toilet as far as we can. And then we're gonna turn the handle. Then we're just gonna crank clockwise. And see if we can pull out whatever is down there. You got to really twist and push. So you can see the water's trying to go down. Now let's pull it back. So, <clears throat> so nothing on the end of it. Let me pull this out of here. Let's flush it again. Looking better. Still rising up. Let's run that auger again. So let's try the plunger one more time. Fill it up with water. Make sure you're seated directly on that hole. There we go. Let's let that toilet fill up and we'll test it again. The best test you can do is give it a good amount of toilet paper, drop it in and flush it. And you can see it's pretty stuck already. didn't work, right? So what we need to do 
is go ahead and pull this toilet. We're going to undo these toilet nuts and bolts, and we're going to pull this off of here. Remember, there's two bolts, one on each side. The same thing on the other side. Turn off that water supply. Make sure that's off. Go ahead and loosen up your toilet supply that goes into the tank. And disconnect that. We're going to remove the lid. We're going to get rid of all this water that's in the tank right now. You can use a shop back, whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and just let it flush on down. I know it didn't fill up all the way. Get as much water out as possible. Using your plunger, try to get as much water out of this as you possibly can. pretty good so now we just need to lift this up okay let's pull this guy up remember it's got a wax ring on it there we go Yep, <laughs> here's one. Is there another one? There's one. I hear it. <laughs> we can get it to come out there it is Two little toys down in that bottom of that toilet always amazes me how they get through this trap that just amazes me okay let's go ahead and set this toilet back put on the water supply turn it on check for leaks and we're done so there you have it Good looking toilet, flushes right down. There are all of these different things on YouTube that say they work. You know, you can, they say put dishwashing soap in, baking soda with uh, distilled white vinegar, Drano, bleach. I can assure you that none of those products work. If this plunger if this plunger does not open that up, nothing else is going to do it. You're going to have to try an auger or you're going to have to pull that toilet. This is called a drain snake. And basically, you, know, you pull it out, you can lock it down with that lever and you can twist it just like we did the auger. But do not use this. It is so flimsy that if it hits a stoppage, it can double back. You see that? It can double back and really get stuck down in the line. Plus, it can really scratch up your toilet. See how it's trying to double back? just too flimsy of a cable to try to send down that line. 
We've got this toilet wide open. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. So don't forget, do not use a drain snake. It's too flimsy. Can you see? It can actually hit a stoppage that would have hit those buses and it would have just doubled back and then the cable gets stuck down that line. You will not get it back. <laughs>